this is such a beautiful day here. I uh, can't believe it's January and it's so beautiful that the class that we were going to have indoors is now going out to the shore, to the beach, because it's so beautiful and we can take our watercolors out there and we're going to do it. That's why I'm dressed like this. So the class is going to be in about an hour and uh, later on a friend is bringing some really nice local shrimp. The minute that was said, I thought, what comes to mind is my oven baked rice recipe, which I could fix now out of pop it in the toaster oven. And indeed, I will just pop that rice in the toaster oven, get my supplies ready, and get ready for the class. In an hour, it'll be all be this done. This is so easy to do. You just mix up the rice with water, put it, pop it in the toaster oven for 30 minutes, covered in a baking dish, and let it cook. So this is what I've written about the oven-baked rice recipe. Uh, baking rice in an oven produces rice grains that are well cooked, separated, and full of flavor because they absorb the water through baking, not boiling. A glass or ceramic baking dish retains the heat and remains hot enough to complete the cooking process gently and efficiently. Rice has texture and absorbs the flavors of the seasonings, which have not been diminished by steaming or boiling. Okay, so this is what I have. Um, I have my trusty old Pyrex baking dish. It's about a one quart size. This is this is only for two, uh, serving for two, this rice. So um, I, you don't really need um, anything bigger than this. So here is the brown rice. This is a quarter of a cup of rice put it in there there. And here is a cup and a quarter of water. Okay, and now I'm just going to stir it around. Put the aluminum foil on the top. I think I've mentioned that many times the, the lid that comes with baking dishes will not fit in a toaster oven. So aluminum foil works really well for making a nice tight lid. This, um, I save my aluminum foil and use it over and over Stir again. It is up to temperature at 400 degrees. So I'm just going to put the dish in like that. The covered Pyrex baking dish. And I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes, and after 30 minutes, the rice should be just almost and at by the end of 30 minutes, minutes. The rice should be cooked not quite completely because the rest of the cooking process will take place after the seasonings are added, and the rice will be allowed to sit with the seasonings in the hot dish to complete. While the, the rice is baking away in the toaster oven, I'm going to combine these ingredients the oil, garlic powder, and the chopped Salt parsley right now, and some freshly ground pepper, and then later on I can adjust these seasonings. Okay, so here I'm going to take the aluminum foil cover off, and I'm going to stir this rice. Now I have to confess that it took 10 minutes longer than what I put in the original recipe. I think it is because I am using brown rice. And when I wrote this recipe, I was using just white rice, not parboiled, but regular white rice, which doesn't take so long to cook. Well, here's the rice. Oh, and you can see how the rice kernels are nicely individually cooked, smells wonderful, and the seasoning, of course, is coming through. Mm. And I have to say that this is a really full-bodied flavor in this rice. Bring on the shrimp. <laughs>